In this example, we will show you how you can use these three objects to reduce the temperature in a city. So what we like to do is to show you a method how you can compute the cooling effect of a tree object within a city. So usually you want to cool down certain areas in a city during the summer. So as an example input, we used the hottest week of Barcelona in the summer, uh, where we have temperatures between 38 and 40 degrees Celsius. Um, but you could also use using that script another location as a reference, right? So here we used Barcelona, the weather file, and as an example date, we used the end of July at two o'clock in the afternoon. So what we need to do now is we reference these lands design objects in Grasshopper as geometry objects. So they're here. Yeah. And then we use the scripts to compute on a certain area in a resolution of one by one meter, the temperature on the ground. So certainly you see some shadows here. That's where we also expect cooler um, values or lower values. Let's see how that works. There we go. So we have here in these really red areas, degrees between yeah, 37 to up to 39. And in the areas where we have shading, uh, where we have these three objects, we were able to reduce these temperatures by six, seven degrees. Yeah. So trees are actually really good shading devices because in the winter, where we actually want the opposite, where we want to uh, rise the temperature in this area, trees, they do not have um, these leaves here. So we can just turn that off and try to compute, use the same script and compute what happens in the winter. So first, let's see what happens with the shadow if we change the time of the year from July to January, from summer to winter. So of course, they get longer as the sun is lower. Yeah. And let's see what we do with Grasshopper with our definition. So first of all, we have to refer these trunks as geometry objects in our Grasshopper definition. So they're inside of Grasshopper, that's why they turn green. And let's see what the results tell us. So we have an analysis grid, so the maximum temperature in the winter in January in Barcelona would be 13 degrees. And the trees where they are, where they project these long shadows, um, they lower the temperature again by 6 to 7 degrees Celsius. We can always bring these analysis results into Rhino by baking the geometry. In this uh, case, we bake the rendering mesh into, yeah, for instance, this layer. Yeah. In the final step, let's compare the two environmental analysis results that we get for these three objects in Barcelona at two different times of the year. So here we have the results for the summer and I will hide these three objects for a second. So in the summer, we can see that much larger areas um, were cooled down by six to seven degrees than in the winter. Also hide these trees here. The presented method can help you to get real-time feedback for your design. So whenever you change the scene, you add more trees or less trees or other geometry objects, you get a different result. So by doing this in an iterative way, you can actually learn what 
impact your design decision has on um, the ground temperature. That means on the cooling effect in a city in the summer or at a time that you define. So you would have a more informed way that drives your design decision.